Hi everyone, greetings, welcome to the South Hing Guy channel, it's me Adam, good to have you back with us again. Uh, first and foremost, if you did watch the live broadcast I did earlier, uh, apologies, it seems I may have had an audio issue, and that uh, the microphone I plugged in, I forgot an adapter, which meant everything was silent, because when I tried to do a vlog afterwards, uh, nothing happened, so I can only assume that was why so I have actually deleted it it's nothing to do with YouTube I removed it myself so lesson learned there we're gonna do a live one again even don't bother the mic we'll take the right connection there we go so yeah uh, that was a illuminating day I shall say and uh, numbers are a bit disappointing but I suppose with the weather you know it's not been very nice today I think it's more like a sort of March, April than June at the minute, but there we go. And coupled with the fact that Monday is a working day, I myself normally work on a Monday, just I was owed a day off, so I thought I'd go and uh, see what transpired. Uh, yeah, the uh, crowd that was there was quite lively, it has to be said, and they were keeping the police on the toes so they kept moving, which was uh, quite an interesting tactic nonetheless, but... Yeah, it was uh, interesting to watch, shall we say. Um, seemed to be one or two agitators in there. Uh, I did witness something which looked a little bit off to me, but I wasn't right there, so I can't really say too much other than it appeared that a girl had been shoved by a copper. Her mate got upset, so obviously she's had to go out the copper, and then it just sort of spiralled from there really which ended up her getting nicked along with her mate by the looks of it uh, yeah and there was one or two others as well you know it, it, it's what it is at the end of the day so um, well I mean I know there's going to be more protests to come I'll try and get to what ones I can and do a live feed obviously there are others on YouTube and bit shoot and uh, brand new tube and all the rest of them do do their own bits which when I was looking at them it's like oh your gear's a bit more fancy than mine <laughs> it's like you do this quite a lot so uh, yeah so there will be feeds out there other than, me, other than, other than mine which is good so yeah that's uh, what's the score that's what the score's been today I've done quite a bit of walking uh, I thought in my infinite wisdom that I'll get off at Fenchurch Street uh, normally I go up by bike, cars just uh, I'm not even going to go there with a car because it's 25 quid before I've even thought of fuel and parking, you know, with ULEZ and uh, congestion zones, so that's an on-goer. Uh, regards both my bikes, my chance off the road, so is the Honda at the minute, I've got one or two little things to sort out. It's not a lot, but it's just niggling, I meant I couldn't use them, so... I used the train, and it's interesting to see how many people weren't wearing masks, uh, which is quite good. So, that's something. So anyway, moving on. Uh, Content-wise, now, this weekend we went out to a church called St Mary St Christopher. It's over north of Braintree. Now, it was a massive punt because we'd planned to go back to Borley Church, where we was the previous week. Unfortunately, a couple of the uh, neighbours took a, or shall we say, a dim view. They weren't, they weren't best pleased with us there. So we got basically told to sling our hooks, really, which was a bit frustrating because the previous week that we was there recording, I picked up one of the clearest EVPs I've come across. And the woman that come through, she sounded like she was in distress. So that sort of left me in a, in a pickle, really, because she obviously needs help. But we've been told to sort of not go there, really. And we did speak to the DRC as well. And she said, she was quite polite, but she said, like, you know, we don't encourage that sort of thing there. So obviously all the, you know, the ghost hunting that's gone on there but it's a bit of an on-starter now which 
it is frustrating but if that's how the, the residents are and that's how they are it's not a lot you can do uh having said that we'll leave it we'll leave it for a little while i'll try and eat it again if they're a bit more accommodating as i said you know because the lady that that i picked up she didn't need help us that's all i'm saying anyway um content this week now we're going this is the first part of our Pluckley season and it was the one that we did in collaboration with Paranormal Essex and it was uh, quite a big turnout uh, there was a lot of people there I think it was a bit more than either group intended uh, sometimes there's too many people it, it can have a bit of a detrimental effect which I think I've said before so yeah but the content we did get was very worthwhile again you know you're going to enjoy what we caught and as I said it is the start of several visits that we did to Pluckley so you'll have that to forward to and yeah just uh, going back to Rettendon quickly now obviously as you know the previous vlog I did I had a revisit to the the scene but I looked at Rectory Lane which is around the other side as I said which I don't think anyone's really looked at and what I'm gonna try and do I think I might have said before but just to reiterate I'm gonna look at doing something on Rettendon once a month okay because obviously it's, it's you know it's a, a subject of big interest but obviously the, the other stuff for me is priority over that so I'm going to, you know, try and keep everyone happy. I'll do my best, that's all I can do. So, yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do something once a month over at uh The next one being a look at following the route that Billy Jasper took. Okay, so, as you know, I've, I've just visited Rectory Lane, but I'm going to see if I can retrace Billy Jasper's route up to that point. And hopefully I should have a special guest with me as well. So we, we will have that to look forward to. It's gonna, that's going to be in about probably three weeks, I'd say, two, three weeks. So I'm, as I said, roughly once a month. Uh, the other one being last week. So yeah, I'd, I'd say we're looking three weeks' time for that now. And yeah, I'm also thinking of revisiting the scene for Terry Goodham and Maxine Arnold because there's sort of one or two things or one or two questions that have come to light since then. So that's something else I'm going to mull over. I've still got some places to visit in Epping Forest, so that place is by no means a done deal. Uh, there's a place in North World I want to visit. There's, there's a church there. Uh, all of them stays up the road, which I also want to visit. And, yeah, that's all to come we've got lots of filming to do with the delay to the grand reopening for my illustrious government obviously the bad news for me is the longer this goes on the more income i lose but the good side is that obviously i've got more time to do recording so there's ups and downs to it all i suppose uh yeah so That's where we are. I'm almost back to my car now. I've done, if I had a pedometer a day, it'd be going, it'd probably blown it up, I think. The amount of uh, miles I've got. <laughs> and I've also found out my train is very porous. So, uh, yeah, there we are. Right, I'm going to leave it there, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching again. As I said, this Wednesday, kicking off the plucky stuff. So, Look forward to that and we'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.